I would like to introduce, first of all, the team. And when we say people.ai, this is uh, essentially a research group uh, that is based here in SFU, School of Information Systems. And uh, this is a group picture that we last took when one of our own graduated uh, with a PhD degree. Uh, my name is Hari. I'm an associate professor here at SMU. And with me today are the people.ai team members. And they're very easy to spot. They are all wearing the t-shirts. Uh, we have uh, Agilis and Maxim, who are research scientists uh, with our group. Uh, Andrew and uh, uh, Duan, who are PhD candidates. Uh, Daryl, who is a research engineer. As well as to the end, who's been a research assistant uh, working with us. Now, there are many others. I think when you go outside later on, you're going to see the rest of them. I will encourage you to interact with them, to find out more about what they are doing, and so on. Now, one of the important things, or one of the privileges that we have in a university is to work with uh, bright uh, young undergraduates. And this is something that we've been doing for uh, some time. Uh, we've been working with students from SMU. Uh, here they are, they are undergraduates, they are taking courses and so on. But they join us in one of our projects, or they become one of our research assistants, uh, working together in various uh, efforts that we are taking on. So today, these are going to be the list of people that are going to be behind this TechFest uh, event. Now, you may ask, what do we do? What do we do? So we are a research group. So in that sense, uh, the thing that we do is research. But what does that mean? So we have a special focus on research and advancing AI and machine learning. And particularly, we are looking at ways to model user preferences in order to enable applications such as personalized recommendation. Now, this covers the spectrum of various things. Uh, data of different kinds of modalities, with their images, texts, social network graphs, and so on, as well as extracting preference signals from them so that we can build models that can then recommend items and products to various users. Now, in the context of this research, uh, one of the things that we do is to build an ecosystem. And this is an ecosystem that we are putting on display today uh, inside this tech pass because we would like to learn. We would like to learn more about how people see this, uh, what they think is going to be applicable that is coming out of these projects. And this is, the backbone of this is a set of libraries that is going to cover end-to-end -end recommendation framework. And the idea is to go directly from the data, to try to go to the web and extract all this information that we can then integrate into a unified knowledge base upon which we can build further applications. And that itself allows us to extract signals of preferences, whether they come from text, from words, or even from images and other sources as well. And this allows us to compile these recommendation algorithms and libraries into something that is packaged for easy use, as well as easy deployment in terms of putting it into a web retrieval system. And to showcase some of the capacities that this backbone has, we have been developing a series of applications. Now, bear, bear in mind that these applications are there because we want to explore the novelty use cases or what are the new applications that can come out if we can actually advance this sense of preference and recommendation technology. So later on, please do go outside and look at all these different projects that are going to be put on display as posters or demos. Now, on the one hand, uh, we believe that we have put in our best effort to make this something interesting. But on the other hand, we are very, very conscious that all these are still work in progress. So I think a big part of this whole tech fest is also to learn from you, to let us know uh, in terms of whether you have ideas or whether you see some new concepts or perspectives that you would like to let us know. Now, in addition to building this ecosystem, we do research. And part of this research goes into publications. And as a, as a group, we target publications in AI, machine learning, data mining as well as web, IR, and NLP. And these are just uh, word, it's a word cloud that comes from the titles and the abstracts of the various papers that we published over the past six years. And it kind of gets you a sense of where our group focus is. Uh, we deal with uh, models, we deal with data, uh, preferences, users, representation, topic, and so on. And do check out our papers, because it, it does give you a lot more uh, sense in terms of what we are concerned with. 
Now, we do some of these events. Uh, I think this is one of several that we have been doing. And we try to target different kinds of audiences. Sometimes we go to universities, sometimes we go to high schools, colonies, uh, because we want to make this into a bigger movement in terms of people learning AI, people learning ML, and putting all this to various use cases. And sometimes we even go to the world. So we have uh, held meetups uh, overseas as well, we've been to KL and uh, Moscow, uh, in addition, of course, to some meetups that we have held in Singapore previously. And doing all these things as a group, we still have a lot of fun. In fact, I think if you've been watching the video, it seems that we have had more fun <laughs> than we are doing work. And uh, we do a lot of group activities together, and I think that uh, just us as a team uh, as well. Now, uh, today, what we want to do here uh, is to start a conversation with you. Uh, we, there is a diverse group in attendance today, and we would like to engage you. We would like to know what are the sort of things that you think they can be done together. Uh, it could be that because you see one of our projects, one of our libraries that you would like to use. It could be that you want to propose a collaboration. It could be that you're currently studying and you're looking at a particular project and you want to be an RA and uh, or intern and so on, right? And in particular, uh, this event today actually has been supported by the Postgraduate Research Office. And one of the things uh, that they do is to offer postgraduate programs. Uh, now, I just want to say a few words here, especially if they are undergrads in attendance, right? Uh, they are usually three misconceptions when people think about PhD degree. Uh, the first misconception is that if you do a PhD, you have to pay a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to study. Now, on the other hand, actually, a lot of PhD programs, including our own, uh, all our students get a scholarship. So basically, we pay you to study. Now, the second misconception that a lot of people have about PhD is that you have to have a master's before you go on to a PhD. Master's may be useful, but in fact, the majority of our PhD students come from the bachelor's uh, degrees. And the third misconception is the idea that if you have a PhD, you have to be a professor. Uh, some do become professors, but in fact, the majority don't. The majority of the PhD are now in industry. And in fact, we have some representations from industry uh, today. Uh, you can talk to them, and you can figure out that actually there are a lot of PhDs in these various companies, including you know, the things that you use every day, all the apps and the search engines and so on. All right? Now, the program for today, there are two parts to this. The first part is what we are having right now. We are going to have a series of talks. So this is just an introduction. After this, four of us are going to come forward to talk about some of the new papers that we have been presenting in various conferences. Now, importantly, after the talks, that is going to take place for about an hour or so, we invite you to come outside to view the posters and demos. Uh, there are a lot more interesting things there that you can even actually interact with and to start real conversations uh, with us. Now, the talks are going to be these four talks. They cover a series of uh, technologies, recommendation systems, review generation, topic modeling, as well as graph similarity. And these are papers that we've been publishing in the past two years in either AI conferences or some data mining or web conferences. Now, uh, there are going to be 15 minutes per talk, and we hope that uh, you will learn something. And do let us know your feedback. And we would like to learn uh, from you as well in terms of what you think about these words and, uh, and to essentially create a more conducive opportunity or environment for us to exchange ideas. 